you thought I'd be canceled by now. I saw you on social media. I saw you. I heard you. I heard your voice. I heard you up on the MySpace removing Jay Rich from the top five friends. You remember that? You remember that? Who was in your top five friends? You know how many people got in trouble over MySpace not being in the top five friends? Do you remember that? That was some drama. That was straight up drama. MySpace was the best platform, social media platform we've ever had. And for one reason only. You could have a song. The song you're feeling, you put it on there. And I remember I used to try to be like unique and like out there and put a song maybe not everybody would put on there. You know, I thought I was special, but I wasn't. Because, was, you know, MySpace had me, baby. And MySpace is still a thing. Somebody told me the other day that bands still... My, my question is this, though. If you're a band and you're trying to make it, is that final lift going to be MySpace? Evidently it is, because I guess... Uh, you know, that's what it is. But anyway, it's episode three. You know what, what happens when I hit a J? I go like that. And that means it's episode three, baby. So I'm glad to be here. Thought You thought I'd be canceled by now. You've tried to shut this down. Not going to be able to do it. Not going to be able to do it. We're going strong. And just like any great show, we're going to start off with their sponsors. Hey, we have a confessional. We have a confessional. You know, got a, I've gotten a lot of love from this, doing this for the last couple episodes, so I'm going to keep on doing it, right? But I had somebody write in. And matter of fact, if you have a question, I'm going to start doing this. If you have a question, you can write in or you can DM me on my Instagram account, LonelyUncle40. Some people, some people, Email me the question at LonelyUncle40 at Gmail. That's fine. You can do that also if it's an in-depth question, you know. But um, I will answer it. But um, I was shocked because everybody knows that our two number one sponsors are Magnums because you got to get that hit of fellas and Bandy Rubber Bands. And sure enough, I have my ad today. I'm just going to read a confession, okay? Dear Lonely Uncle, me and my husband Trevor have been going through marriage counseling for many, many years. It has been very, very dramatic, and there were times where I just didn't think we could get through. One of our big, biggest fights is over your sponsor from last week, Magnums. But little did we know about bandy rubber bands that perfectly complement the Magnums. I'm going to be straight up with you, Lonely Uncle. You saved our marriage. Whoa! Whoa, was not expecting that. Was not expecting to save someone's relationship. Just out here having fun. Just a kid having fun, you know? My, my ponytail. Dude, God, I got a ponytail. Just out here having fun. We'll go back to, to the confessional. <clears throat> After you actually suggested bandy rubber bands, we now have stuck on our fighting and blessing out one another. We are much happier. Thank you for the podcast and everything you do for all the people out there. And just keep it going strong. Because we love you. One love. Tina. You know what? That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, baby. You know, I just... I didn't... I just took sponsors. I just take sponsors as they come and they give me. Because we need money to keep going... To keeping this thing going, baby. We need money to keep this thing going. So, first come, first serve. And those were the two that came up. Okay? Um, I had some other letters about the Magnus. People were saying, hey, 
you know, thank God that you subscribe or you actually suggested the baby rubber bands to go along with the magnums because of the fact I just realized if you didn't see the last episode you have no idea what I'm talking about but we are sponsored by magnums those hitters for protection and we are sponsored by no other than bandy rubber bands to complement those magnums for the fellas you know for the fellas who think they're there and the ladies are just like nah and there's a lot of fights evidently from this marriage this um uh, this letter from this this couple but anyway um you know that that <laughs> that's what's up but anyway the uh, people were telling me yeah man I you know I didn't without bandy rubber bands I was using my magnums for I would use it as a you know a trash liner meaning they would take one of those tall trash cans and they'd put a magnum in it and they'd fill it up with trash and every week, you know, the trash man comes. Some people used it for recycling. You know, some people used it for recycling. But, you know, because they, they couldn't use them. You know, it was ridiculous. Excuse me. But, baby, rubber bands, lifesaver. <laughs> anyway, keep it going. We're going into episode three. Gosh, I read that. That song right there is by Tierra Mac Whack. And that song has been in my head for two weeks. That is a dope song. I love it when a song, a dope song gets in your head, gets in your head for two weeks. That is just the best, best stuff I've ever heard. Um So uh I want to talk a little bit about Halloween today. I get as excited, guys. Listen up. Just listen up. Real talk right now. And thanks for sticking with me today. I, my, my, my house is under renovation again. I had another flood. I've had three floods, a house fire, some other stuff that's just weird. Being a homeowner, being a grown-up, overrated. Overrated. Um, but anyway, I got these fans blowing in the back. So I know you, some of you guys are going to be fed up with this. But just stick with it, baby, because... You know, next week it's not going to be there, hopefully. Hopefully there will be no sounds in the back. But uh, I just still, I wanted to still release this thing on time, okay? But let me tell you a little bit about Halloween. I get excited about Halloween just as much now, which is sad because I'm a grown person, as I was when I was a little kid. And uh, and uh, there's something sad about that, absolutely. And I look at it like that. Um I'm just a grown man, dude, and I'm, we got a costume party coming up, and uh, I just have these rules, and I'm trying to put together the perfect costume, and last year, I was uh, the dude from Game of Thrones, the real handsome dude that died early, for, uh, Kyle, was it Kyle Grego, Grego, I mean, that, uh, the, what's it called, the Game of Thrones fans are rolling over right now. Uh, in their mother's basement, because I forgot the name of that, and I'm so sorry. But I, I don't, I don't remember the names. I don't. Just for a side note, man, I will watch a show like Breaking Bad, or now I'm watching Better Call Saul. I have no idea what happened last season, or what happened the season before. I have to go watch those rerun shows because my memory is so bad. I know I like it, but like, Game of Thrones is that way. I'm gonna have to brush up and watch one of those. Uh, internet hitters to get me refreshed because I forgot I, I forgot what you know who did what who said what I knew it was awesome I know there was a dragon involved there was some drama with a dragon that dragon lady but Halloween uh, and this year I've gone over uh, you know over I mean I am training in such a way. Like last year, I dropped about 30 pounds, gained all muscle because this, this character was really muscular. And uh, there were some people, I'm not going to say who, on the Facebook who said, Jay Rich, I thought 
that the actual actor was at the Halloween party you were at and you were taking a picture of them. That's how good I looked. Um, I looked pretty amazing. So I take Halloween very, very seriously. And this year, I've decided I'm gaining weight. I can't tell you what I'm going to be. But I'm, I feel like I'm going to put on, um, I put on muscle last time. I think I'm putting on fat this time. I'm just going, I need a little bit more fat. Um, so I'm gaining a little bit of weight uh, for that. And I have a couple rules when I put together my costume. Man, I have, uh, I, I try not to buy a bunch of stuff. I try to make it or just, you know, go to, maybe go, go to the Goodwill. Big Goodwill fan. Even though I've heard some bad things in the press. And try to put together my, uh, my uh, costume. Um, so, right now, but right now the physical part, you know, I'm trying to get into the, you know, looking. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to gain some weight. But I get into it. I really do. Um, you know, and, and uh, I have a friend who makes fun of me all the time because I take it way too seriously. But it's Halloween. It's the one time you can get away with kind of going back to the day. But that excitement when I was little of Halloween was real. And I just like this. There's a part of me that likes to revisit that. And, uh, you know... You know, there's always the dudes that show up at the party that don't dress up. They're like, you know, I just don't dress up. And, I, you know, I'm, I've never been that tight. You know, not saying those are some of the coolest and realest people I know. Um, even though they're being, you know, they're not participating. But I, I usually go all out. So um, I'm, actually, I'm actually gaining weight this year for the actual part. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. Um, but it, which reminds me. Um, wow, which reminds me, um, be safe out there, be safe out there, and, uh, another thing I wanted to talk about before, I, but before I go off, ads took a little bit longer today because we had a confessional, but, um, uh, there was a, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the Carter 5 that was released. It had some bangers, and I love I love Lil Wayne, <laughs> Lil Wayne. I love him. There were some bangers, but I swear to you, I sat down to listen to that album, and about forty five minutes passed, and I was like, "This is banging. This is really good." I was laying on my couch with my headphones on, because that's what I do to take in the music. I took about a thirty minute nap, and I woke up, and it was still playing. Oh, that's too long of an album. If you're approaching two hours, that's too long. And that's the only thing I'll say about this. I won't get, there are some fun songs and bangers, but can we make things a little bit more concise? The perfect album is like 35, 39 minutes maybe. Just get your get your songs on. You don't need skits. You don't need your mother calling on the answer machine and recording it for inside joke. You know, but that's too long. And you could do so much within that that time of listening that album. So that's something that I'm going to remember. So write in, call in, drop me a DM. I'm appreciating the love. Episode three. It's a wrap, son.